and a weekly radio show. One of the things that, that Tim said and that I want to just kind of, I want to, I want to kind of analyze a little bit because what he said was actually right. But what I'm going to say is going to sound like a, it's the exact opposite, but I do agree with Tim. Self promotion. It's a 24-hour business. It's part of our daily conversation. The reason why we're all in this room today is we don't believe in nine to five jobs at all. We don't believe that we have to go to work at nine and that we're gonna go home at five and our business goes away. We do believe that we can get some work on the weekends. We do believe that we can work into the overnights. We do believe that we can start work and start preparing and start setups at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever it is. We do believe that we are a 24-hour business. We, we go to sleep as a business. We wake up as a business. We live life as a business. Anybody who thinks that we work less hard and we seem like we're semi-retired, no, we work harder. Because we are the business. We're part of our daily conversation. That's not bragging. That is advertising. If you're always talking about yourself, that's bragging. If you're always talking about your business, that's advertising. You are the product. The product. Think catchy slogans. Slogans, you know, the wording, the, the, the look. You know, when I brand Forgotten Hollywood, I want everybody to make sure they see Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History. So think big when you're selling your product, or think as a niche, so that you're different from somebody else. If it's not big, you're different. How are you different? JL has a special way of filming. That is a niche. That is a special and a different idea that sets her apart from other folks who do that kind of filming or production of sorts. So that's what you want to do. And then think sphere of influence. I come from radio. The key word in radio is always demographics. Who are your demographics? If you remember your old radio schools, that you, classes that you took in school, you think gender, you think age, you think ethnicity, you think economics, you think geographically. Always think in terms of demographics. Who are the people you are trying to reach? As Tim put it, you're not reaching your brethren unless you'd like to just catch up on old times. You're thinking of who's going to hire you. That's a demographic. Think in terms of demographics. That's very, very important. And think outside the box. I have sold more books, not at Barnes & Noble, not at Amazon, but by going to Rotary meetings and networking with other people, like-minded people of that demographic, that age demographic, in my case, 35 plus, people who might remember classic Hollywood, who love Turner classic movies, who do enjoy watching Casablanca or Gone with the Wind, or The Wizard of Oz, and they don't happen to be other authors or people that I'm competing with. They just happen to be the demographic of age. And so what I'll do is I'll go to a Rotary membership or a Lions Club or a chamber, the Cypress Chamber of Commerce breakfast, and I will pe speak to people of a certain age group or a certain target demographic, and I will reach those people because I know one thing that no other author knows. I'm the only author in the room. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to buy a book that day, I'm going to be the only person they buy it from. I won't be competing with 10,000 other authors as I would at Barnes & Noble. Now, I'm telling the art you, of marketing, building your business, what is your com comfort level? What do you excel at? What are you really good at? Tim will tell you he loves Twitter more than LinkedIn. I happen to love what Tim does with LinkedIn. But his comfort zone is Twitter. But, I, but for me, everything that I follow from Tim happens to be LinkedIn. Because I love what he does. He mentioned that people don't like to blog. I love to blog. Sir Alex celebrates 100. I'm able to tell the story. Pictures kind of help with the words. And, and, you know, passing parade claims too. Some people who have died. Dick Smith did special effects. James Shikata. And, uh... The Gable Foundation celebrates Gone with the Wind. As you can see, I just love to blog. 
That's my comfort level. I'm not as comfortable with 140 characters. That is something that Tim excels in. I excel in the idea of blogging and telling the story with pictures and with words. If you're an author, that makes sense. That's what I want to do. Successful. And finally, and this is really the key to why I'm here today, for sure, application, moving forward. The hardest thing for people to do is to say, I'm going to work on it today. How many of us have said at one time or another, ah, I'll just do it tomorrow. I, you know what, I'm going to sleep on it. I'll do it on the weekend. That is a very <laughs> horrible habit to get into. It happens to all of us. I am here to tell you, at no matter what age you are, get out of that habit. Don't be sedentary. You have to succeed today. Promoting and marketing you and your product today.